Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a sand castle. I'm going to put three fingers on the left and put a dot and then I'm going to put three fingers on the right and put another dot. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw a wavy, 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 wavy line. Keep going all the way over to the other dot. I come inside the space and starting on the left, I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line across, straight line down. Next to that, I'm going to draw a little straight line up, slightly curved line over, straight line down. Now on the right, I'm going to draw a little slightly curved line over, straight line down. I leave all these lines floating because now I'm going to come in with another wavy, wavy, wavy line going across. Now I'm going to attach all of my floating lines. Now I come back on the left and I'm going to go straight line down, slightly curved line over, straight line down. I come to the middle space and I go straight line up, slightly curved line over, straight line down, and right here in the center I go little straight line, little straight line, little straight line down. Now I come on the right hand side and I'm going to draw a straight line down, slightly curved line over, straight line down. Now I go all the way back to the left hand side and I'm going to draw one straight line down, come up to the top, draw me a curved line up, curved line in, connect. I come to the middle space and I draw a little straight line down, curved line up, curved line in, connect. And now I come to my third on the right hand side straight line down, curve line up, in, connect. Come back to the left hand side and I'm going to draw one baby circle. In the center I'm going to draw one, two baby circles. And down here at the bottom I'm going to draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, connect. Right here on the right I'm going to add one more baby circle. Now if you have room on the right hand side, I'm just going to draw a straight line, straight line up, straight line in, straight line out. Then I'm going to go curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, connect. I come over here on the left hand side, if you have room, I put a dot and I go straight line up, straight line down, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. And over on the right hand side, if you have room, put a dot, straight line up, down, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Now in my background I'm just going to draw some curved lines, however many you can fit, just to uh, add a little decorative element to my background. I can do one more I think. And now I'm ready to color. Let's see how we're going to do that. Okay, first off I'm going to color in brown all of my circle, baby circles, and my little doorway. And then I'm going to color my little flags red. And then I went through my crayon box 
and I found a peach so I'm going to color all of my sandcastle peach all the layers and this bottom section I'm going to color peach also now if you don't have peach you can use your brown crayon and just color lightly okay then I'm going to color my seashell over here pink but you can do that any color you want and I'm going to color one of my starfish light green, but you can do that any color you want. And I'm going to color my other one orange. And again, you can do that any color you want. I come up to the top and I mimic or draw again my curved lines with a dark blue. Just to add some definition. And then I come in with my lighter blue and I color in the whole entire background which is not difficult to do if you use the loop-de-loop -loop line which is going over and over and circle 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 to fill in the space not only is it faster to fill in big spaces but it also adds a little bit of texture I like to call it controlled scribble scrabble now I found another apricot color in my crayon box and that's what I'm coloring the bottom half of my drawing and again if you don't have that color you can use your brown and just make sure it's a light brown okay let's see what this looks like all colored in here's my sand castle all colored in ready for a day at the beach okay bye bye